Now let's go and look at the code and we'll walk through all the vulnerabilities within the code itself. So I'll minimize this, go back to PyCharm and here we have our code. So over here, we're just initializing node uh, constants and so forth. All of that is fine. There are no issues here. Where we start to have issues is once we start looking at our methods and our functions. Like if you look at this, this is meant to handle our session, right? This is for our session management. We have, we already have like an embedded secret in there, which says very secret value. Now we should never have to write secrets and and connection strings and anything that is meant to be hidden within our code. So that's our first flaw right there. We would have to fix that, find a better way of handling sessions. Either we're going to move these things into a config file or environment variable that we read during runtime uh, and store it in memory and then discard it once we're done with it. And, and to avoid this kind of uh, situation where we're actually embedding secrets within our code. So this is our first flaw right here within this code. Now, as I mentioned, when we were running the application, it seemed all fine, right? Until we popped the hood and now we're looking under the hood and we're going, oh my God, like this is what it's built like, not very secure. Now, one of the things that we can actually um, also look at within the code itself is when we come down here, you notice this is another flaw we're doing here, which is we're embedding our login credentials within the code. Now, if any malicious user was having had access to this, somehow we essentially had the keys to the kingdom within the code and just made their job a lot easier. So we're gonna have to fix this where we need to either move this also into some configuration files and read that from there uh, as an environment variable during runtime, stored in memory, same thing as our session handling one and that should at least provide some level of security uh, within that space uh, that said one of the biggest flaws that we just seen is our ability to upload any file versus what this application is meant to accept what is this application meant to accept we only wanted image files so in our upload method as you can see we're basically just taking any file that the user sends to us and places it in there. Now that has the potential to allow a user to upload malicious files and malware and all of those things that we mentioned. 